have you ever been abroad? I hope you know what is abroad. Good, Adam, if your homework is in progress. Okay. Um, if you have been abroad. Have you ever been abroad? Fatin say yes. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Have you been abroad? Overseas? To another country? Oh, I yeah. also have one. Yes, good. Right. I heard somebody said something. I don't know who it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. The rest not have not been abroad. Never been abroad. Okay, Ayman haven't been abroad. Okay, it's okay, Ayman. I went abroad when I was on when I was um, the first time I went abroad when I was very very old already. How old was it? When I was 30 plus, that was the first time I went abroad. Okay, so Vidato, Zarina. So, you know, that not necessarily that you go abroad when you are young. Okay, right. Okay, for those who have brought, been abroad, what do you enjoy doing when you visit new places? Okay, even if you don't go abroad, if you go to another state that you have never been, or to another place that you have never been, like from here you go to Trunganu. I've not been to Trunganu myself. So what do you enjoy doing when you visit new places? You enjoy the scenery, Zarina says, okay. Any more? Mm -hmm. The culture, all right, that's good. All right. Any more? Scenery, the culture, that's what you enjoy. New environment, okay. Okay, uh, I enjoy the tradition they follow there. Okay, can you go and see that? All right. Now, so today's objective of the lesson for reading would be you will be able to recognize with little, that means from me, or no support, or without any clues from me, the attitude or opinion of Amanda Edmonds about her trip to Morocco by answering five questions on the activities she did. And then for speaking, you will be able to express and respond to feelings such as amusement, anger, and regret if you did the activities Amanda Edmonds had done. So you will look at the activities that she did and then you will say about how you feel about it if you have to do it, All right? So your success criteria for reading is you identify words, phrases, punctuation, spelling of portray is wrong, that portray or show the attitude or opinion of Amanda Edmonds. Answer five questions on the activities Amanda Edmonds did. And for speaking, you state your feelings if you did the activities that she did and respond. Uh, if somebody give their feeling, if feelings, uh, you respond uh, to that feeling if they did the activities um, that she had done. Right. For example, if I said that I am excited, you will say, oh, you're excited. If I, I will get scared. For example, that's how you respond to someone's other feeling when they do the activity. So now you have the te uh, textbook page, page 74 in your textbook. Right. So you got your pre-reading task. All right. Um, sorry, I'm also checking uh, the WhatsApp in case anyone saying that they have problems coming into class. Okay. Right. So in your pre-reading task, okay, look at the topic title, My Trip to Morocco by Amanda Edmonds. Okay. All right. And then you can see the picture uh, that is in the textbook. All right. You have this one. What is this? It's written there, my camel goofy. And then here, it's outside the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the word Marrakech, I think. I don't know how to pronounce the word. Uh, I don't know, with my henna tattoo. And you have the sand dunes um, in the desert. All right. And then the question is, 
what do you think the pictures are? There should be a question mark. All right, I'm sorry, I don't have the question mark. What do you think the pictures are in relation to the title of the text? So this picture, what is the relation to the title? Right? What's the relation to the title? Anyone? All right. Yes, it is traveling. All right. Okay. Thank you, Brian. It is traveling. Okay. Any other answers? We have a visitor actually um, joining our class. All right. What uh, she saw in her trip, yes. What she saw in her trip, yes. Uh, Muhammad Ayman, yes. It's like her vlog, all right? You feel like it's like her, her vlog, okay? Video um, logging, all right? Uh, Yenzin, what she saw on in a trip. Widato, uh, Amanda's experience. Okay, Adam, good. Places Amanda visit during her trip. Good. Okay, so that's what you think the pictures are in relation to the title. Okay, so the answer is the girl's pictures from her trip to Morocco. You're all not wrong. Okay, who is the girl? Who is the girl? It's very easy. Who's the girl? Anyone? Very good. Everyone's giving the answer. Okay, Amanda, Amanda, right? You all can speak on the mic if you all need, right? Okay, so you're right. Her full name is Amanda Edmonds. Okay, what do you know about Morocco? Any one of you know anything about Morocco? Any one of you know anything about Tanisha? Say no, she doesn't know anything I about think it's about uh, uh, about what, Brian? About the flag. The okay. Morocco national flag, middle part, got one kind of logo. Is it almost looks like almost looks like one kind of thing. But they usually say the logo of the middle part is about their plantation oil. Okay, all right. Thank you, Brian. Okay, I can see um, Zarina say sandy country. Okay, Ayman say can further your studies there, right? Okay, just basically, I want to inform you or just share with you that Morocco is a country located in North Africa. Okay, uh, the capital city is uh, Rabat and the largest city is Casablanca. I think you have heard all this. Huh? Other large city includes uh, Marike and Magnus and Morocco's coast is on the Atlantic Ocean and it reaches past the Strait of Gibraltar into the Mediterranean uh, Sea. Okay, so that's a little bit. So now we know that Morocco is the north of Africa. Okay, so that's where Morocco is. All right, so let's continue. In activity B, you have to read the text quickly and match the headings A to G with the paragraphs one to four. As usual, there are extra, three extra headings which you do not need to use, all right? So you have um, the seven there, okay? A natural delight, things to avoid, a scary ex experience, first impressions, a rough ride, living with Bedoins, I don't know how to pronounce that exactly, gestures and handiwork. Any words that you have problems understanding? This one must be um, people, okay? A person, a group of the community, okay? Any words that you anyone don't understand need extra information? No, everyone okay with the words? Gestures. Zarina, I just say, Bedoins are the community people living there. Like Malaysians, okay? Gestures. Gestures are the, your, hand, your hand movement, your face, 
uh, expression, okay, signals that you use with your hand. We use peace sign, okay, all right. So that would be gestures, like what I'm doing now. If you can see the camera, that is gestures, okay. Um, a rough ride, a right. You know, if you take a car, Adam, you take a car and the road is not uh, straight. There is a lot of bumpy holes then your car will go up and down, up and down. It's called a rough ride. It's not smooth. Okay, it's so rough. So you didn't have a comfortable um, ride. Okay. Okay, right. Now let's continue. This is paragraph one. Basically, what you do if you want to know the main idea of a text is basically what? What do you need to concentrate? Only the first and the first sentence and the last sentences. Remember, I said that you don't have to worry too much about the one in the center unless the first center, uh, the first center, the first sentence in that paragraph and the last sentence do not match. They don't don't match. Then you like oh somewhere in the center must have a change of idea. Okay, so this is paragraph one. Okay, I arrived at Marike Airport where I met my friend Emily who has arrived the previous day. Then I was enjoying the sights as we were walking through the crowds, eating our kebabs, and I didn't notice a man yelling at me. He was a snake charmer and I almost stepped on his cobra because I wasn't looking where I was going, right? So based on that, Okay, what would be the best heading for that paragraph? Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, or G. Okay, I have Ayman saying first impression. Then I have Tanisha, Atika, and Zarina saying a scary experience. Redato saying D. Mm -hmm. Where am I now? Okay, let's look at it again. All right, I arrived at Marike Airport where I met my friend Emily who had arrived the previous day. I was enjoying as we were walking and I didn't notice because I wasn't looking where I was going. What would be the best answer? There are 20 people here. Only a few of you have answered. Okay. <laughs> Is that all a? a natural delight? What's a natural delight? Pang say D, Adam say D. All right. Any more? Fatin says D. Fatin Liana, right? Adriana, okay, Afrina, right? Okay, so the best answer would be D, which is, okay, um, the first impression. That was the first impression, okay? The first impression of the place. She came and then she was enjoying the size and then there was a man yelling at her, her first impression. Clear? All right, let's continue if you have no questions. All right, then you got paragraph two. Okay, you see that I have highlighted the one in the center because if I look at the first sentence and the last sentence, it does not go hand in hand. I had seen many people the previous nights with henna tattoos on their hands. So I asked Emily where I could get one. Then later, we needed a taxi to get back to the hotel. So I gave it a try. We found a taxi pretty quickly, so I guess it worked fine. It doesn't make sense what she was trying. That's why you have to look what has changed from henna tattoo to getting a taxi, which is here. I notice how some people hail taxis. They don't stick out their hand, but they point a finger or even two fingers. Okay? 
So then you can see, okay, then this has this one makes sense, right? So what would be the best answer? You got the henna, and then you got the taxi with the hand signals. Very good, all of you. Okay, so wait, why am I going back to you? Okay, so you have correct G. It is about uh, gestures, which is the taxi. If you put one finger, means there's only one person needing taxi. If you put two fingers, two people will want to sit in taxi. Handy, uh, what, uh, handiwork is the henna, all right? The henna tattoos. Very good. Activity three, by paragraph three. I was a bit nervous about our next outing, but as it turned out, I had the time of my life. We went on a two day, four times four times four excursion to Ek Chabi. I fell asleep that night, imagining how wonderful life as a Bedouin might be roaming the desert on camels and sleeping in tents. It looked like they are nomads. Huh? Bedouins are like nomads. Okay, so what would the best answer be? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Uh, suddenly some people are giving different answer. Ayman is giving different answer. Adriana is question mark. What happened to Fat Fat the other Fatin? Eh? Fatin Aina? Is Fatin Aina here? I don't see Fatin Aina anywhere. Eh, eh, all right. Okay. All right. Everyone's giving A. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I got this problem. Okay. So, you see that I was a bit nervous, but it turned out I had the time of my life. I fell asleep that night imagining how wonderful life would be roaming. Okay, the best answer would be A, which is a natural delight. Okay, not um, living with the Bedouins. We don't want to live with them. Okay, she is talking about living as a Bedouin, not living with them. Right, you must be very careful of words like that. Living as one and living with them are two different meanings. Okay, All right. Let's look at the last paragraph four. A few days later, my dream came true and I got a chance to go camel riding, but it didn't really live up to my expectation. He also said that camels are known as ships of the desert. Then it crossed my mind that I was feeling seasick in the middle of the desert, right? So Brian says E. Anyone else who wants to give the answer? Yudato also say E. Fatin Aina. Oh, Fatin is here. A rough ride. E, 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 E. Everyone's giving E. Yes, it's a rough ride. Okay, it's a rough ride. Okay, so all of you got that right. It's a rough ride. So it wasn't smooth. It wasn't smooth riding on a camel. All right? Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you some comprehension question based on paragraph one. Let's look at the PowerPoint and I'm going to ask you some question. Okay, the first question is, did Amanda and Emily arrive at Marike Airport on the same day? You can use the mic to answer or you can use, you can just um, type into the chat. All right. Did Amanda and Emily arrive at Marike Airport on the same day? Okay, Brian. No. Okay, no, who is that? <laughs> okay, no, no, no. What did, all right, everyone say no. So who arrived first? Thank you, Surinda. Yes, who arrived first actually? Emily, yes, correct. Emily arrived the previous day, excellent. Okay, now what languages, all right, do they speak in Morocco? 
What languages do they speak in Morocco? There are more than one. Arabic is one. What else? French is another one. Good, Adam, Zarina, and Berber. Okay, I don't know what language that is. It's the first time I heard of the language, Berber. Okay. Yes, Adriana, very good. There are three languages that they speak, Arabic, French, and Berber. Good. Okay. Now, where did Amanda and um, Emily go to eat? Where did they go to eat? Where did Amanda and Emily go to eat? Yes, I do not know how to pronounce this word at all. It's a so or so, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to do something. No, that's not the one. All right. Socks. Okay. Sock. All right. So they went to the sock. Right? It's called a sock. S O U Q is called a sock. Okay. Where am I? Can't find you all. All right. It is in paragraph uh, one, Brian. It's sulk. Okay. They went to a sulk. Okay. What is a sulk? A sulk is an open air market. Right? It's an open air market by day and open air restaurant by night. That's what a sulk is. And there's a lot of Food, yes, new words, right? Fatin is a new word for me too. Sauk, right? Uh, I think this is uh, applicable only in Morocco. I think where you have that open air market by day at night, it turns into an open air restaurant. Okay, right. Let's look at paragraph two. My question would be, um, how long does a henna tattoo usually last? How long um, does a henna tattoo usually last? So Adam, you are very fast, very good. Two weeks, yes, Fatin, two weeks. Very good, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, a fortnight. Yes, Brian, two weeks is a fortnight. Thank you for the answer, right? Mm, very good. Let's go to the next question. Uh, was Amanda used to the way people in Morocco hail a taxi? Do you know what's hail? Hail means to stop a taxi. H-A-I-L, huh? hail taxis. So hail, H-A-I-L means when you put up your hands to call a taxi, it's called a hail a taxi, right? So the answer is no. Yeah, she wasn't used to people. Uh, way in Morocco hailing taxi, correct? Okay, very good everyone. Let's look at paragraph three. In paragraph three, okay, how did Amanda feel about the excursion to act chabby? Yes, Fati, she wasn't used to the gestures, very good. Okay, how did she feel about the excursions to act Chabby. Yes, we are too very good. She was nervous. Everyone agreed to that? Yes, Brian, yes. Yes, Adriana, she was a bit nervous here. That's the answer here. Yes, good, Adam. Very good, nervous. Okay. Now, how many days did Amanda spend in at Chabby? How many days did she spend there? Very good, okay, two days. How do you know it's two days? Because of this word on a two day excursion, right? That's how you get your answer, very good. Mm. Next paragraph, 
what was amanda's dream <laughs> what was amanda's dream yes very good ryan and adam camel riding yes vida told exactly afrina camel riding true adriana excellent okay i don't know what happened surinder still around yes fatin liana camel riding yenzin yes right very good okay did she like it did she like the camel riding Did she like it? Yes, yes. Not really. Yes, Vida too. Yeah, no, Brian. Correct. No. Yeah, not really. Yes. Okay. No. Hmm. Okay. What is the name of their guide? What is the name of their guide? Yes, Fatin. She became seasick. Yeah, Moha. Moha. Right. That's the name of her guide. Okay. Okay, I think you all did very well. Okay, now in activity C, read the text again and answer the questions. Just now I asked you just uh, oral questions and you are able to find the answer. Now we look at activity C. Okay, this is a real comprehension WH question. Okay, let's look at the question. Why? Uh, something is wrong. Why was, uh, here was, uh, why was Emily was, uh, I, I missed my W, I think I was very hungry. I add my W, right? Why was Emily a useful person to visit Morocco with? So let's look at paragraph one with the question. Why was Emily a useful person to visit Morocco with? So I have, Brian said that she go many times to Morocco because Emily can speak French. Okay. All right. Any more? Vidato, she's been to Morocco many times and she speaks French. Okay. Adriana, she can speak French. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for more answers. Any more? All right, Fatin say Emily has been Morocco and she can speak. When you have can, after can, no S, huh? because it's a model. Can speak without S. Okay, Fatin? All right, so let's look at the answer. All right, she had been to Morocco many times and she spoke French. Okay, right? Why was... It's a past tense, W here, missing. Like I say, I was hungry, I add my W. Okay, so she had been to Morocco many times and she spoke French. Let's look at question two. What did Amanda eat on her first night in Marrake? I think I don't have to show you. I think you know what she ate. I think you know what she ate, right? Without showing you. Okay, I have... Yes, everyone seems to know that. Do you know something? I have never tasted kebab at all, ever. Right? So she ate. So um, here did eat, so eat. Right? Did eat, answer eight. Right, good, everyone. Now I need to try kebab. Yeah, I need to try chicken kebab. Definitely not beef. But I don't know how it tastes like, never did. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. I, I agree with you, Yanzin, why you spoke, right? Um, they are talking about in the past, why was she useful? She didn't ask why is Emily a useful person to be Morocco with. Um, you are right. She can still speak. So you can say, if because I use here had and I need to be consistent, okay? Consistent in my sentence in my sentence. So she had been many times and she spoke. If you say that she had been to more comments and she can speak, then fine. She can speak or and she speaks French, I accept. 
Okay, Yanzin, you are you are fine, you are right, and agree with you. Okay, now uh, next number three. Why did a man yell at Amanda? Remember the man yelled at Amanda. Ah, very good. I don't even have to show you the text, and you get the answer because you have the text in front of you. I'm sure, right? All of you have your textbook, right? Okay, she almost stepped, not steeped, on his cobra. Mm. Ah, now Tanisha, I see your name. Ah, she almost stepped on his cobra. Yes, Adriana. Yes, Brian. Good. Yenzin, wonderful. All right. What happened to all the beautiful China dolls from Four Alpha? I miss them. Still sleeping. Okay. I'm sure you don't know, you're not from 4 Alpha. Emily almost there, or was it um, Amanda Fatin? All ah, right, okay. So she almost tapped on his cobra. It's okay, it's early in the morning, Fatin, I know. Question number four. Where did Amanda go to get a henna tattoo? I think you know where she went. Where she went, right. The new word, soak, right. She went to the soak. Okay, very good everyone, you got the answer. We are going to continue with number five. How many fingers did Amanda hold up to hail a taxi? She learned the gestures. So how many did she hold up to hail a taxi? All right, Vidatu say two, uh, Yenzin say two, 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 Atika, Adriana, yes, two. Tanisha also said two. Where's Surinder? Is Surinder still here? Fatin say two. Adam, is Nabil here? Oh, yes. So, Nabil. Thank you, Nabil. See, Nabil. I miss you, Nabil. Mm. Right. Okay. So, everyone say two, but Nabil never answer anything. All right. So, she held up two fingers. All right. Now, how long did it take the girls to get to act tabby? How long? How long? How long? What paragraph would that be? Okay, how long did they take to get to act chabby? Two days. Really? Are you sure? Check carefully. How many days? Is this the one? Yes. I was a bit nervous about our next outing, but as it turned out, I had a time of my life. We went on a two day, four times four excursion to Ak Chabi. This is the place in the Sahara Desert and it took us most of the day to drive there, but it was definitely worth it. We watched the sun setting and blah, blah. They went to Ak Chabi to stay there for two days, but how long for them to reach Ak Chabi? Yeah, right, exactly, right? So, it took most of the day, right? It took them most of the day. So, they take like nearly from morning, they started maybe only in the evening they reached. That's when they get to see the sunset. So, most of the day. Be very careful between how many days they stay in Akchabi and how long it took them to reach there, okay? Don't get confused. Right. What impressed Amanda the most on their trip to the desert? What impressed Amanda the most um, on their trip to the desert? What? 
Yeah, right. I, I just learned that some, some, some of you, you know, you're not sure and it all ends with a question mark. It's a question and you answer with a question. The stars fill up the night sky? Sunset? Let's look. All right. We watched the sun setting over the enormous sun dunes. Then the rain show started. As the stars came out and filled the entire sky, living in the city, I had never seen so many stars. It was magical. So what was, okay, um, the one that impressed the most on the trip to the desert? Yes. Right, Fatin? Right. Exactly, Brian. Yes, with that too. Okay, the stars in the sky. Okay, right, it's the stars in the sky is the one that impressed Amanda the most. Right, okay, why did Amanda want to get off her camel? Mm. Why did Amanda want to get off her camel? Moha, Adam, what has Moha to do? Why did Amanda want to get off her camel? She felt dizzy, D-I-Z-Z-Y, seasick. Right, I know I'm just confused with Adam. Adam, what happened? You are interested in Moha or what? Seasick. <laughs> Felt dizzy. Seasick. All right. Adam said something seasick. Okay, she was feeling seasick. Right. Nabil, are you still there? Surinder, are you still there? I need to check. Is Surinder still there? Looks like Surinda is not there anymore. I don't see Surinda anywhere. Okay. Right. Hold on. Okay. Ah. Uh, is Surinda there? Yes, she's there. I can see. All right. Your internet is slow. Okay, okay, Surinda. No problem. No problem. Just checking on my favorite students, whether they are still around. Okay. All right. And then all the rest will be jealous when I say my favorite student. Okay. So the answer is she felt dizzy, okay? She felt dizzy. All right, very good. Any questions that you wanna ask about activity C uh, before we continue? No, okay, Brian, very quick. Everybody say no, no, no. Okay, let's look at the main skill task. Now, this now was reading comprehension, right? We didn't talk about feelings, and our main skill is talking about feelings, right? Now, read the five questions below. This is not in your textbook, all right? How did Amanda feel? Okay, you have to look in your uh, paragraph, but the question is not there. How did Amanda feel when she arrived at Marike Airport? Okay. How did... Uh, Amanda feel when she arrived at Marike Airport. All right, Brian, you said excited. When when any one of you give me an answer like excited, um, upset or whatever, can you give me a sentence or a, a phrase in the text that tells you that? That tells you that she was excited. In what paragraph, for example, paragraph one, couldn't wait. Okay, Brian, very good. She said that she couldn't wait for um, Emily to show her around. What about the rest? What? How did Amanda feel when she arrived at Marike Airport? What about the rest? Silent night. All right, excited. Paragraph one, she couldn't wait for Emily to show her around. Yes, uh, Yenzin says she's happy. She couldn't wait for her to show me around. Okay, 
Um, Yanzin, you must be careful when you are reporting what Amanda feel. The me should change to her. Okay. Zarina, why do you say wonder? What you mean by wonder? All right, let's look at the next question. How did Emily feel when she was at the open air market? When she was at the open air market, how did she feel? Wonder about this country. Okay, Zarina, thank you. All right. How do you think she feel when she was at the open air market? Shocked. Um, is that the right word, Brian, to say shocked? I know she didn't notice the snake, which if she said, I don't think uh, the, the snake would die. She would have been dead. Joyful. Uh, yes, Adam enjoying the sight. She enjoyed the sight that she was oblivious. Or oblivious means you don't realize what was going on around you. You're so excited. She's enjoying uh, the scenery. Uh, that is so different that you don't notice. Oblivious means did not notice. O-B-L-I-V-I-O-U-S, oblivious. All right, I write it down here for those of you who might have never heard of the word oblivious. Oblivious. Okay, oblivious means never have noticed. You don't notice it. Okay, all right. So that is what it means. Um, she not only enjoy, maybe she's excited or maybe she's amused. Okay, so the word there is enjoying. I enjoying the sight, right? Yes, Brian, it's okay. Oblivious means you are not you you did not pay attention to your surrounding. Okay, all right. Okay. So next, uh, how did Amanda feel when the lady had completed the henna tattoos on her hand? Okay, that will be in paragraph two. Anyone when the lady so realistic? What you mean by so realistic? Feel like a local? Let Look at paragraph two and see the words used there and tell me how you think she felt. Right, I don't feel like a local, yeah, but I think there are better words there. Feeling, you cannot feel like a local. You either feel excited, happy, amused, sad, angry. She felt normal, really. Yenzin, let's look at paragraph two. Paragraph two, I had never seen so many people. I had seen many people from the previous night, okay, with henna tattoos on their hands. So I asked Emily where I could get one. So I was back to the sock where a little old lady turned turn my hands into work of art. When someone say, you know, she turned my hands into work of art. Yes, right. There was an excitement because her normal hand has now turned into a work of art. It can also be amused, right, Brian? She was amused to look at something simple can be turned into, uh, not amused, amazed, sorry. She was also feeling amazed or excited that her hand that is just normal turned into work of art. So the feeling of amazement, feeling of excitement, right? Because the word here is work of art. When someone, when you say something changed into a work of art, you get 
all right? Amazed by it or um, you get excited about it, all right? Okay, now how did Amanda feel sitting under the star-filled night sky in the desert? Right, that would be in paragraph three. How did Amanda feel? She was amazed. She felt magical, right? There was the word, word there. It was magical. So she felt magical. She felt amazed. Yes, she also felt what? Excited. She felt amused. Amused is more like, uh, you know, Fatin, amused is like when somebody do something weird and then we look at it and, and we are in amusement. Like, oh, people can do like that. And that's amused. Okay, all right. Um, more of magical, amazing. All right. Uh, what some? What other feelings can you say? Um, delighted, wonderful. Right. Okay. Good. Enormous. Enormous is very big, Adam. Enormous means very big. You cannot feel enormous. You cannot feel that you are big. Okay, Adam. I know you are big. You are enormous, Adam. <laughs> I like to tease Adam, don't I? Right, sitting on the camel. How did Amanda feel sitting on the camel? She felt struggle. You cannot feel struggle. You cannot feel struggling. Challenge, you can feel. She can, you can feel it as a challenge, but you cannot feel struggle. You are struggling. I feel challenged. So maybe you feel that she felt challenged. Okay. All right, what other words, better words, based on paragraph four that you think would actually tell you how Amanda feels sitting on the camel? A quest? Mm, you think it was a quest? Do you think she enjoyed sitting on the camel? Because they want to... Want to what uh, Want to sit at the camel? Uh, she feel that it's a really one kind of quest. So must ask her to how to sit properly the camel there. All right. Okay. Right. That was her beginning. Was her dream to sit on the camel, right? But when she was sitting on it, okay. The question asked when she was sitting on it, not before. Before that, she was like, "Oh, I want to sit on the camel. It's going to be my quest to be able to sit." But when she was sitting on it, how did she feel? All right. Adam, yes, did not live up to Amanda's expectation is the word given. So what feeling was it? What feeling did she have? She, yeah, she had seasick. So what feeling was it? Did she regret after that? Was it a feeling of regret? Feeling, yeah, she felt regret, okay? She felt sad or unhappy. She felt sick, all right? Maybe, yes, yeah, she felt sick, okay? She felt annoyed, yes, maybe she felt annoyed, okay? All right? She didn't feel well. She didn't feel good, right? So that's your answer. So that's why I give evidence from the text to justify your explanation. So you must... Understand, feeling is what you feel. Um, sometimes things that you say are not feeling. You must be very careful. Feeling comes from within, how you feel. Okay? All right? Now, let's discuss. Would you like to try any of the things Amanda did on her trip? Would you? Would you want to try any of the things Amanda did on her trip? Oh, Adam say yes, very fast. If you say yes, which one? Which one do you want to try? Brian say no, he doesn't want to try anything. But what about the rest? What? Oh, okay. Tanisha wants to try the camel riding even though Amanda says that it's like a sea, like it's sitting on the ship, right? Oh, even Vidato want to go camel riding. Oh, okay. Fatin wants to go to Ak Kachabi. I know why Fatin wants to go there. She wants to see the stars. I'm sure Fatin wants to see the wonderful stars that a Amanda was talking about. All right, Adam, he wants to go to the soup. Why? You want to see all the food? Yes, Adam, you're the food guy. You will love the food, wouldn't you? 
all the food there. All right, Brian, different camel. Yeah, Adam, I know you want to try all the food, especially the kebab but in Morocco, right? Okay. Right, and then you want to see the snake. I see how big and healthy the snake is. Mm. Okay. Right. Now, how would you feel? Just now, we asked how Amanda felt. Now, how would you feel if you arrive at Marike Airport? If you arrive at Marike Airport, how would you feel? This is your own personal answer. Izato left the meeting. Mm -hmm. Oh, enthusiastic. Yes. Feel excited. Yes. The first time you reach an airport, you want to go for a vacation, right? Ah, oh, you feel so excited. Oh, is it Brian? Now, Brian. You know, the term putri lilin you don't like because it's hot. Sad. So Brian will feel sad when he reaches an airport, but the rest will feel excited, enthusiastic, right? Couldn't wait to start. Okay. Oh, okay, right. How would you feel if you were at the open air market, the, the sock? If you were at the sock, how would you feel if you were there? If you at the open air market, not Malaysian open air market, the one in Morocco. Uh, yes, Adam, I know you get excited and interested because you want to see all the kinds of things that they sell and you might want to try everything. I think Adam will just go there and stay anywhere near the soak so that he can go every day to the soak from morning till night just to see what's there. Happy, curious about the new food, right? Okay, my wallet is bleeding because the currency of the two countries is different. Okay, all right, everyone will be curious. Yes, Fatin also says curious. Teacher, I don't know how to say Rambang Mata. Oh, you feast of the eyes. You be like, you you want like I say, or oh, Iman is like Adam. It's a feast to an eye to your eyes because you just like you want everything. Everything there seems interesting, right? Okay, right. If the lady had uh, completed because uh, happy because the food uh, are dizzying arrow, Yanzin also like food. Okay, right. How would you feel if the lady had completed the henna tattoos on your hands? Okay, I do not know about boys, but I would like to know about girls. I don't know whether the boys like it. Okay, Tanisha would be like amazed. Woo, nice. All right. I don't know if boys want to get henna tattoos on their hands, but I know definitely girls. Oh, Brian will get it and then post it in Facebook. Okay, interesting. Anyone else? Nobody else. Nobody feels anything. Oh, okay. Yanzin wants to try. Okay. Fatin, yes. I think many Malays and, and Indians, I think Malaysians love henna, ha having henna on their hands because it's part of our culture. Adam wouldn't want to try because he doesn't want to be called a sissy after that. Okay. How would you feel? Now, yes, Vidato. Maybe feel gorgeous, right? How would you feel sitting under the star-filled night sky in the desert? You go to the desert and you just see stars all over the sky. How would you feel? Oh, very relaxing. Okay, you will feel relaxed. You feel peaceful, feel happy. Right? Any more? Oh, Brian. Brian will feel regret for not taking his girlfriend there. Okay, Fatin will feel amazed and grateful. Yes. Okay. Right. How would you feel sitting on the camel? Adam, I feel uncomfortable because I don't like the desert. Okay. Right. Okay, Adam, I accept your answer. Even though the stars are beautiful up there, you will still feel uncomfortable. How would you feel sitting on the camel? You feel like sitting on a horse. You feel hot, you feel excited, you feel spectacular. Maybe, 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 okay, Fatin says she might enjoy it. Maybe she'll like it, all right? Okay, that's good. 
So, conclusion, ah, describe a magical experience you have had either in Malaysia or abroad based on how Amanda describes sitting under the starry night as magical. So, if you have any magical experience like how Amanda describes her magical star night, do you all have any magical experience? Okay, yeah, Yanzin said a bit scared because I never write any animals. Okay. All right, Brian, if yes, can you ex describe a magical experience you had either in Malaysia or another country? Thailand also had an open air market. All right. Oh, okay, Brian, it was five years ago at Hong Kong Disneyland. Why was it magical, Brian? Adam, why is Thailand open air market magical for you? Okay, yeah, you can give me the name, but can you tell me why is it magical? Uh, Zenjun, Pulau Perhentian? Because I like watching Mickey Mouse when, oh, okay, when you were small. So Mickey Mouse was something magical for you. So when you saw it at Hong Kong Disneyland, it was magical. All right. Okay, so Adam, why is Thailand? Uh, so it was magical because of the food and souvenir. I see. Not the girls, huh, Adam? The so-called girls, huh, Adam? All right. What about Zianjun? Why, why pull up Rantian? Why is it magical? Anyone else besides them? Okay, I have Fatin saying that the first experience of snorkeling at Fire Island really amazed me because I can see a lot of sea life. Oh, so it was magical for you because you get to be up close to the sea life. I'm not going to read that, Adam, you're a naughty boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, I went to Lost World of Tambun on New Year's Eve and they had a theme neon and fire. Oh, okay. That's, that's magical too, right, Tanisha? That's very good. Okay. Right, Brian. Okay. So your homework for my class Three classes, complete activity B, C, and D in your exercise book, or you can even type on your Microsoft Word and upload the image to Google Classroom. Please make sure it's upright. Uh, I, I don't have, I, like I say, my neck cannot be twisted sideways to read. Um, I will post your assignment at 10 o'clock uh, in the morning later once we finish the class. Okay, so that's the end of... Um, this class all right we will continue with our next class in five minutes time right